Hey babes, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Susie and I'll be showing y'all how I got this custom bag out of this hat. Y'all, this is where I got the idea from the whole time. I thought those was um, a purse, but the whole time it was some slippers. But anyways, um, yeah, that's where I got the idea from. But we're going to go ahead and cut off all the stuff that we're not going to be using, the tags, all that good stuff. And then I am going to just cut out the bottom band of the hat and we're going to use that as the strap. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, sis, because you're definitely going to love my channel because I got a lot of creative ideas. But anywho, so now we're going to go ahead and cut out the top of the hat. That's where the open is going to be. And then we're going to place it at the bottom because I did want this purse to be like uh, kind of round at the bottom. So I used that as a template and I went ahead and cut off the edges. So basically we done y'all. We're going to go ahead and cut the strap in half. I did not use it all. I cut it, end up cutting it down some more because it was too long. But we finna go ahead and sew. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it inside out. And I am going to go ahead and sew across the bottom so we can keep that closed. Next step, it will be me hemming the top of the opening part because it was a little rough, but it still kind of looked at a little rough because of the material that I'm using. So I did go ahead and shave off some of that to make it look a little more neater. <laughs> So I do want to give you guys a heads up if you do try anything like with the hat or with like knitting material. It is going to be a little difficult sewing but nothing that you can't handle. Okay, so, so now it's time to go in with the strap. I'm pointing at this part because it's a little rough and I didn't want it to like come apart. So I'm just going to go down it with a straight line of thread. And also, like I told y'all before, I did cut the strap in half because it was too long. And if I would have left it longer, the purse would have been longer and I didn't want it, you know, super long. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I kind of measured out where I want the straps, of course, in the center. Um, so I am just going to do a straight line across that, and I'm kind of going over back and forth so it can hold. And also, um, I usually would have done it on the inside, but you're not really going to see it, so I feel like it didn't really matter. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So I had these sticky back for fabric um, thingies laying around in my drawer so I did use those. Um, I ended up putting three in there um, to keep it closed because of course they are not that sturdy and I feel, I feel like they are used for something else but especially not this material but that is literally it. 
Let me know what y'all think. I think it's super cute. I can't wait till I style it with the outfit. But I love it. Ooh. Oh. Comment down below y'all thoughts on the bag. I really think this is super cute. Swag. Trendy. You know, something different. Y'all know I love to be different. Dare to be different, you know. Dare to be you. Super cute, though. I love it. Y'all, I'm really finna take these DIYs to the next level. So, if y'all miss out, that's on y'all. Period. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking a little rough, so I don't want y'all to see my face. But this is the final one finishing look. Um, I'm gonna insert a picture of where I got the idea from. I thought it was super cute. I saved the head at Walmart and I made it. I did it. It's super cute. Um, I didn't expect. Well, I didn't really think it through that this part was like going to stretch when you put your stuff in. But super cute, trendy bag. Um definitely you can wear with some type of swag outfit like i'm gonna do i don't know what exactly i'm gonna wear it with but i'm gonna insert some pictures of the idea that i got it from let me know what y'all think it's super cute i love it definitely gonna wear it it's flexible it's bouncy of course it can't hold like a super much like a whole lot but it can hold what i need my cards my phone my gun and my lip gloss that's all i need literally but yeah let me know what y'all think comment down below give me some ideas on some stuff to make um it's lit diy's at its finest period thanks for watching leave me a comment leave me a like a subscribe um and that is literally all that i have i hope this video was helpful um i hope it gives you some ideas of creating stuff that something but i love you guys oh so much thanks for watching and i'm out peace